So, you had a little boy born sometime between December 22nd and January 20th. Congratulations! Congratulations! You gave birth to a boy born when the sun was passing through that part of the zodiac called Capricorn. You gave birth to a rugged little individualist. You thought this bundle of inexhaustible energy came into this world to conform, comply, and cooperate? <laughs> no, no, no. He came to go where he wants to go, do what he wants to do, and be who he wants to be. In other words, he came to be a rugged individualist. Nothing stands in his way. He's adept at scaling the heights, the depths, traversing the farthest, remotest places on earth. Sometimes it's hard to even get a glimpse of him, but worry not. He's safe. He's as solid as the rocks beneath his feet. He'll single-mindedly, single-handedly find his way and persist in that way till the very end. He's a rugged individualist. He's a little Capricorn boy. Get ready. Your baby's life has begun. First of all, this boy will like names that are ruggedly individualistic like Richard, Benjamin, Nicholas, Anthony, Lawrence, and Albert. He'll also like it if you call him by a friendly nickname. He wants to be thought of as just a regular little guy, even though he is anything but. So names like Danny, Lenny, Ben, Ken, Roy, Ron, and Rocky are good. What he won't like are names that are fancy and smooth, like Lockwood, Gaylord, or Fillmore. And definitely no frivolous names like Bud, Bugs, Buzz, or Brad. More than likely, you noticed that his first words were not dad or mama, but see you around, gotta go. <laughs> He's always on the move. Doesn't stay in one place for very long at all. Now you see him, now you don't. Actually, it's amazing how far he can go in a single day. And it's so easy for him. No problem at all. Things can get in his way, but it won't be long till he's found his way around them, over them, under them, and even through them if he has to. He's on his way. It's the way of the little Capricorn boy. One day you decide you would like to take him for a little walk. Wonderful idea. He'll want to go. Get out his four-wheeler and off you go. He'll walk, he'll ride. Journeying is his thing. Nothing will be too dangerous, nothing too difficult. He'll lead the way and hopefully you'll have the courage to follow. You see, his symbol is the goat, a fine-looking animal that scales the heights and the depths. The goat can find his way to places most people would find far too scary. And perched high on a pinnacle, it's a sight to behold. This little boy is just like his symbol. His journey is amazing to behold. So you're on this walk of yours. People will stop and admire how ruggedly handsome he is. They'll be quite mesmerized by his deft conversation. He'll flash them a smile and be off on his way. His path never seems to have an end. You'll huff and puff till you can't get any farther, and he'll happily leave you behind to rest. He must continue on. He can't help himself. He's a Capricorn boy. He's what is known as an earth sign, which means he's physical. That is, he views life basically through that part of him that is his physical self. His essence, his core, is the living of life by that which he can taste, touch, hear, smell, and see. We all have that physical part of us, but it's the earth signs that live by it. He innately understands the ground he's traversing, innately knows his way. His senses direct him in every move, and it's all as natural to him as breathing itself. We can only be fascinated by his death-like journey, a journey that could be any kind of journey on earth. However, it will have a single theme, and what theme that is will become evident as time goes by. Like the goat that unfalteringly stays its course, this little boy will remain unfalteringly true to his theme. It's his journey, unchosen, unspoken. And he's equipped to make that journey because he's an earth sign who understands the earthbound way. And that's the way of the Capricorn boy.
Understanding parents will provide a banquet of life he'll want to sit down to, like all kinds of different toys until it's discovered what path he's on, then only toys related to that path. Friends and relatives who are willing to give him the space he needs to freely be on his path. Lessons in only that which relates to his path. Teachers who understand he's not like any other boy in the class. And a very big playpen where he can practice all this maneuvering he's going to be doing. Understanding parents will not provide a banquet of life he'll not want to sit at, like lectures on what they think he ought to do, relatives who do not like his path at all, friends who want to play games their way, teachers who want him to do it the prescribed way, or lines like, do what I say or you're grounded for a month. (laughs) No, no, no. His ruling orb in the solar system is Saturn. Saturn was named after the Roman god Saturn, the god of agriculture. Saturn represents the principle, what we sow, we will reap. That's the design of this boy's life. Whatever happens while on his path, that's what he is sowing. And whatever he reaps is the consequence of what has ensued. It's a singular, individualistic journey. Nothing seems to deter him from it. He's like the true farmer who doggedly plants his crops each year, no matter what's happened in the past. So this little boy will find his particular path and stay on course with dogged determination, no matter what. He's also born to the polarity that likes first to draw energy in from everything and everyone around him before putting any out, so it might take some time before it becomes evident which particular path he is on. Someday you'll know. You'll see. Give him the space to be who he is. He'll love your interest, adore your applause. It's the journey of the Capricorn boy. He's what is called a cardinal sign, which basically means his way is... His way, which means he has no idea, nor will he recognize that there could be any other ways than his. On this subject, there is basically no conversation. So try and get a conversation going anyway to tell him there are other ways that he ought to look at, and he'll be off in a flurry of hooves. Now you see him, now you don't. So the next time you do see him, he's on the other side of the mountain, leaving you to marvel at how in the world he ever got there, and so quickly. His way is his way, and there's nothing you can do about it. So don't even bother to try. His sign is particularly into that part of the body called the knees. It's a good thing. He needs good knees in order to be able to do all that maneuvering of his. Keep them well oiled. You don't want them wearing out. That would be a complete disaster. A goat with bad knees is no goat at all. Now, don't ever plan to see him fall to his knees. That's not his style. He'll never submit or admit to anything. He uses his knees for transportation only because that's just how Capricorn boys are. He's not going to fall in love with the little girl next door. No, no, no. Well, not unless the little girl next door is willing to be completely subservient to his path. Actually, this kind of girl might be hard to come by, especially in a world where it's getting popular for little girls to do their thing, no matter what boys might or might not want. So throw a lot of parties in hopes that some gorgeous tidbit will show up who'll fit the bill, who'll love living a life of making him look good. He'll love the parties, especially if he can be the center of attention where everyone will gladly adore him for his amazing achievements. Off they will go. He'll lead the way. He's determined. He's a rugged individualist. 
After all, wasn't Benjamin Franklin a rugged individualist, determined in his way, and he was born a Capricorn boy? And there was Louis Pasteur, Sir Isaac Newton, and Albert Schweitzer, and Louis Braille, inventor of Braille for the Blind, and Martin Luther King. They were all rugged individualists and led the way and all born Capricorn boys. There was Cézanne, Matisse, Henry Miller, Rudyard Kipling, Carlos Castaneda, Molière, and Khalil Gibran, born Capricorn boys. And how about Aristotle Onassis, Howard Hughes, and Vidal Sassoon? And there's Richard Nixon, Anwar Sadat, Joseph Stalin, Mao Zedong, and J. Edgar Hoover. All rugged individualists and determined in their ways, and all born Capricorn boys. There's Humphrey Bogart, Cary Grant, rugged individualists. And Elvis Presley, Kenny Loggins, David Bowie, Rod Stewart, Jack Jones, and Roger Miller. And there's Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, and Joe Frazier. And the directors, Lawrence Kasdan, John Borman, Rod Serling, and Federico Fellini. And the actors, Danny Kaye, Alan King, Oliver Hardy, Danny Thomas, Anthony Hopkins, Gerard Depardieu, Ted Danson, Denzel Washington, Ben Kingsley, James Earl Jones, Robert Duvall, Kevin Costner, Lloyd Bridges, Nicolas Cage, Cuba Gooding Jr., and Mel Gibson. All rugged individualists, all determined, and all born Capricorn. think this little boy will grow up to be a rugged individualist? For sure he will, no matter how far and wide his world. But only with love and understanding, the kind of love and understanding you'll be able to give him once you've really learned who he really is, only with that kind of love and understanding will you be able to help him reach his full potential, his fun-loving, sensitive, and creative self. Give your little boy a break. Let him know with love you'll make a place, a haven, for his sake, where all of him you'll take and cherish. Till one day you wake to find he's gone, gone to make his way. You then perchance may be heard to say, Cause I understood my baby's life. I helped as he grew into adult life. My rugged little individualist. My little Capricorn boy.